Alrighty. Seems that we are recording. Okay. Last time I did a speed run of this, I won't be able to do that again. Uh, this is a lot more complicated. The pickaxe and the hammer are a lot different from the cleaver for a few reasons. We're not going for sheer damage. We're going for the better stats. Uh, we try to keep this video as quick, you know, quick and short as possible. For one, like the tool rods in this version don't even make sense. You look at this manulin pick here, has 685 durability. The same one with the wooden tool rod has 860. It has more. I don't understand why. Maybe there's something else I need to look into, but I mean, this is just how it is. This one, same here, 668 compared to 860. So there's no reason to bother with the manual and tool rod. It's a waste. So we can get rid of those right off the bat. So the options that I have found that are left are between this one here, which is using a sponge tool rod, manual and head, and paper. I would not though, because it has silk touch. We're going to avoid that. So this is my winning pickaxe. I'll show you how to make that really quick. So we're gonna go here. Let's see if I can find it first try, that'd be nice. We want that, that, and this here. I didn't even try Night Slime, did I? Okay, Night Slime is better if you can get your hands on it. Mine's faster, the higher its mining level is above the required one. So this here would be nice. But for our purposes, the difference is so minimal, I could just as well go with this, which has an auto repair effect from Ecological. So that's going to be the nicer one right there. The hammer is going to be about the same. And I'll get to modifiers here in a bit. Go to this here, set the hammer down. I probably should go to the regular tool station for that. Uh, it depends on how much durability you need for the hammer. That's how you're going to choose this. If you want just full durability, I wouldn't even take paper. Instead, I would just go straight all the way manual. You'll be able to get the most durability possible. You may be able to use some night slime to get a little bit more, but I don't think it's going to be enough to matter in this case. Now, if you want more modifiers, like this here, you can get four, also get five. You can't use everything paper. You just have to be this here. It's the most you're going to get. I would not recommend that, though. The durability is really low, and this is going to be used as a tool. I would recommend Mending Moss on both, because they are both tools. You can get Mending Moss with 9 Mossy Cobble. Go ahead and toss that on there. Now, after that, we need a bit more. I would recommend a diamond. Diamond is going to increase pretty much every stat on it. Now we have two modifiers left for the pickaxe. I recommend lapis, depending on what mod pack you're playing or what version of Minecraft you're playing. You'll be able to get luck this way. This will help you get resources faster, which is obviously a nice thing. See there, we have luck 3, which is fortune 3. The same can go for the hammer, but I prefer to use hammers if I'm trying to just excavate. So what I would do instead is get our hands on an emerald. And I'll go ahead and sum all this up. And actually put it on the pick, but you could still do that. The other thing I would put on the pickaxe would likely be like auto smelt, which I wouldn't recommend that either for a few reasons. But if you want that, let's see if I can find the recipe here. It's not exist in this version. This is why you're supposed to be prepared for this stuff. Kind of on a time crunch. I wouldn't recommend it anyhow. And this is supposed to be a recommendation video. Maybe I'll go further detail in the comments. But this would be the ideal pick. Once again, you'd take this here. That. With just the wooden tool rods, fine. You don't need night slime. Then you want a diamond, an emerald, and mending moss. Your pickaxe is done. Now for the manual and hammer, I would recommend an obsidian plate. I hope this still works. This will increase its durability, because you're going to want more durability since it's a tool. No, it will not. This is not 1.7. I didn't put an emerald on it, did I? 
that's what made me. Yeah. More durability. That's always nice. If you do want fortune, you could put fortune on it as well. I think these two are the optimal ones. Did I even put paper on that? No. Yeah, look at that durability difference. Massive. It cuts it down almost entirely. From almost 3k all the way down to under 1,000. Now you can put one of these on. You'll notice the difference at this point is fairly minimal. You could then put redstone on it. Redstone will make it mine faster. If that durability difference isn't really that big of a deal, then feel free. I would not recommend two, as it does not give you more modifiers. Paper gives modifiers, so just one. Yeah. Again, depending on the durability, I'm not sure if you're using Vein Miner. I'm going to assume not if you choose the hammer. So, you could take this here. And then redstone. You can go ahead and max all that out. I don't know how much it takes in this version. Isn't that noise just fantastic? I'd already maxed it, hadn't I? I just butchered everyone's ears. I didn't quite max it. I need five. It's like over here in the darkness. Should have made it toward daytime. There we go. I think these here are the optimal tools between the hammer and the pickaxe. Without Tinker Tool leveling, of course. With Tinker Tool leveling, I recommend getting the plates on there, if I can remember how they're made. I will write that in the comments, don't worry. Yeah, but that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, hopefully this helps you. And, uh, yeah.